Anastasia Palaszczuk says she'd rather lose the next election than get into bed with One Nation. She's turning up the heat on Tim Nichols, who says he is prepared to do deals as long as he's the next Premier. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. These ones are priceless. <laughs> Tim Nichols and his Gold Coast MPs making a point about widening Wi-Fi for tourists and the roller coaster fortunes of politics. Flat out all the way to the finish line. That's yeah, what it was right. like. Great ride. Great ride. Sometimes in politics, you've got to stand on your principles. The Premier's making the election about principles. Tim Nichols painted as the win-at-any-cost candidate willing to do deals with One Nation. The Premier, who says she'd rather lose. I'm prepared to, to put it all at risk, honestly, because I believe that it's only my government that can deliver for the people of Queensland. These are the ghosts haunting the major parties when One Nation had 11 members of parliament, when Labor won 752,374 votes, One Nation had the next biggest number, 439,121. Individually, the Nationals and the Liberals paled in comparison. Pauline Hanson believes it's 98 all over again, something the Premier can live with because at least back then, Labor won. Shane Doherty, Nine News.